Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, once again, I come before you, before your presence, Lord, to thank you and to give you the glory. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I soak this periscope into your hand. I soak everyone who have joined us into your, into your hand, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I bleed the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God and my Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Father. Lord, I, I give you all the glory. I worship you, God. I thank you, Father. You are so good. You are a loving God. We love you, Lord. We worship you, God. We honor you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much for coming. This is your host, Prophetess, Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Canada, Ontario. Welcome once again. I'm going to talk to you the subject called The, work, uh, the Works of Wicked and Ungodliness. Yes, the works of wicked and ungodliness. And I'm going to read from the book of Matthew 23, verse 33. Matthew 23, verse, Matthew 23, verse 33. The Bible says, O generation of fibers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So, here is Jesus calling the people generation of vibers, generation of, of vibers, generation of snakes, generation of python. <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ye serpents, ye generations of vipers. How can you escape the abomination of hell? How can you escape sentence of hell? You snakes, you brook of vipers, how can you escape the sentences of, of hell? People are so wicked. They make Jesus to be angry, annoyed, and Jesus is a curse to them. If you say that Jesus was using good words, look at the words Jesus was, was using. Because Jesus used this word of the wicked. These people were so wicked. That's why Jesus used such a strong words to them. Now, the Bible says that how can you escape the sentence, the, the sentence of death? Jesus Cast them straight away. You know the, the group of serpents, the group of snakes, they are Satan. There are some people who are pure Satan. That's why even Jesus, when he was with Peter, and when Peter was arguing with him, he called him, you Satan, get out behind me. Bibles, uh, serpents are the groups of Satan. He's Satan himself. So Jesus said, Jesus called those people, call human being. This was Jesus was dealing with human being, not spirits. That's when you hear our prayers, we pray. People they call us, they call me witchcraft, they call me like I'm crazy. But look at that. If you can stand in your congregation and you look at your congregation and you, you start speaking, you start cast, telling them like that, they will walk out and they won't they won't come back. Because the Bible says many will be offended. 
people are offended easily. But they were criminals. They were evil. They were ungodly people. They were so wicked. That is Matthew 23, verse 33. Matthew 23, verse 33. When Jesus was calling these people, Ye serpents, ye generation of robbers, how can you escape the sentence of hell? You can't escape because they, they have given their life to the devil. They are serving Satan. They don't want to repent. So Jesus told, tell them, you, cannot, you can't escape hell. Hell is waiting for you straight away. I pray that no one will go to hell because of wicked, because of his deeds. Let's look in the book of, uh, again in the book of Matthew 12, verse 34 to 37. Matthew 12, verse, verse 34 to 37. The Bible says, O generation of robbers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasures of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasures bringeth forth evil things. But I said unto you that every idle word that men should speak, men shall speak. They shall give account, account thereof in the day of judgment. For by the words thou shalt be justified, and by the words thou shalt be condemned. Now, here Jesus again is calling the people, You snakes, you are so evil. How can you say anything good? What people say with their mouth comes from what fills their hearts those who are good have good things saved in their hearts that is why they say good things but those who are evil have hearts full of evil and that is why they say things that are evil i tell you that everyone will have to answer for all the carelessness things they have said this will happen on the day of judgment. Your words will be used to judge you. What you have said will show whether you are right or whether you are good. Now, Jesus was talking about wicked and ungodly people. People were so wicked. They were following Jesus. They were judging Jesus. They were condemning Jesus. Even they called Jesus Beelzebub, that Jesus is, is cursing Cursing uh, when he was healing people that is using the demon called Beelzebub. So Jesus was looking at them and said, "You, Bible, you snakes, you evil people. When what, what what good are you talking now? This is Jesus, the Son of God, who was calling people like that. We don't deal with the wicked people good uh, good words. We don't have to spare the wicked people." Jesus cursed these people. He called he called them uh, serpent. He called them he called them snakes. Snakes. They are a group the generation of snakes. The snakes. They are the group of those rebellious. The snakes. They are the people who does not want to change. So Jesus looked at them and said, "Look at that." Verse thirty-five. The Bible says. Those who are good have good things saved. Those who are good have good things saved. A good man out of the good treasures of the heart bringeth forth good things. So if a good person, a Christian, a born again Christian, Jesus has no problem with them. But he has a problem with ungodly people, wicked people, the work of the wicked. When Jesus was with these people, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were looking at every time. Even they were, they, they were judging him. Jesus was so rude to them. Jesus was not easy. 
Look at, if you look at verse 12, and you see how Jesus was challenging these people, you will sympathize with them. At, uh, um, look at verse, if you, you see the book of uh, Matthew 12, verse 16, 12 verse 16, or let's look at uh, the book of Matthew 12, verse 22. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, behind and dumb and healed him, in so much that the blind and dumb both speak and so. And all the people were amazed. And all the people were amazed. And said, Is it not this the son of David? When Jesus has healed the dumb, Jesus has healed the blind people, Jesus has cast out the demon. Now these people, they, they said, this is the, 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 the son of David. This is the son of Joseph. Now the Bible says, but when the Pharisee had it, they said that this fellow do not cast out the devils, but by Beelzebub, the prince of the devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself, is brought to desolation, and every city of house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How can then his kingdom stand? So Jesus, Jesus looked at these people, instead these people could be happy and say, thank you Jesus, you have healed these people. The, the blind were seeing, the dumb were, could hear, the, 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 the deaf could hear, they could, could hear, the dumb could speak. People who are, could have been very happy. You know some wicked people, when you are doing anything good, they are not happy. They will be thinking how to bring you down. Even if you, 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 you start a church, there is a lot of people, there is a lot of sinners. Here in Brampton, we have 5,000, 500,000, almost 500,000. And the people who are saved, they are very few. We need more churches. We need people who can stand in the gap and pray for these people. Toronto itself has so much people. Mississauga, there are so much people. In your city, there are so many people who do not know Jesus. Now, when you start a little church there, you will see how even the pastors, how people will come and fight you. They will never appreciate you. They will try to fight and bring that judge down and close it. And this is a church which is helping people to be saved, to be healed. Jesus has healed the people. He has done a good job. Instead of the Pharisees, the leaders could appreciate and say thank you. Now they are calling that is using Beelzebub, the, the prince of the, the, the demon that is called the prince which casts out the demons. So Jesus said, no, it cannot happen. It cannot happen because the devil cannot divide himself. Because you belong to them, that's why you are, you are, your words are so evil. Jesus, Jesus said you are so evil. You do evil. And you cannot escape hell. You will go to hell fire. Jesus was talking to them and they condemned them straight away. He told them you cannot, you cannot escape hell unless you be saved. Unless you are saved, you repent, it is when you can go to heaven. But if you talk like that, no heaven for you. Some, some people, some people are so wicked. That's why even the Bible says, serve not the witch to live. Wicked people, they are, they are so evil and wicked. I was praying with a woman. When I started praying with this woman, I saw this, that the, the, the enemy, the poo, the, the sheets, Everything that this woman is doing. Do you know that this wicked, they, they even pee on your certificate. That's why you can't get a, a job with them. And, and then you want to sit down and watch them to, 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 to sit on your, your certificate, your, your documents. And you watch them, you, you continue praying good prayers. You say, Jesus, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. They know what they are doing. There are some people for sure they don't know what they are doing. That's why Jesus said, pray for them and, and love them. But the enemy, who knows what he's doing? Here is the enemy with Jesus. They know what they were doing. Jesus didn't spare them. 
Jesus condemned them. Look at what he said. Jesus called them snake away and they called you are so evil. Jesus confronted them and said they are so evil. And then he, he told them every word they are using, they will be charged. They, this what the very words is going to be charged them. What they are, everything they are doing, it is going to judge them. And then the day of judgment, they are going to be proved whether they are guilty or not. Because they are using careless words. The works of idleness. That's what the Bible says. So you cannot sit down and watch and see the enemy destroying, killing your children, taking away your husband, taking away everything, and then you, you continue praying good prayers, good prayer. You must be very aggressive and violent. That's why you see our prayers are very dangerous prayers. If Jesus could do this, look at what God did. God created man and he placed them in the garden of Eden. When they messed up, God did not forgive them. God, didn't, God went straight and cast them. God was very annoyed. He was very angry. When he's, when, and then the man said, this woman you gave me. But when God was talking to them, he told them, don't eat the fruit. And then the snake, the python, went straight to the woman and started talking to the woman. And the husband was there. And then after they messed up, the, the husband started blaming the woman. Now, God did not care whether the woman is the one who listened to the snake or the man. All of them were cast because of evil they did. So any evil done against you, let them be destroyed. Let them be cast in the name of Jesus. If God can do that, what about you, child of God? You have to raise a partner. You have to raise up a war against wicked. Wicked cannot let you have anything. Also, wicked, when they know that you are going to get something, they will fight until you miss that thing. So you cannot, you can't wait until they take uh, your job, they take your money, they take your, your, your children. You have to fight. You have to condemn them. You have to come against them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Them, they can take time and chant and pray and cry and, and sacrifice and do ritual and over their guards so that you miss your job or you, you, you get sickness. And you, as a child of God, have you thought to, 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 to give a sacrifice offering to say, God, I want this problem to be, to be over. I am giving this sacrifice for me to get a job. I am giving you this sacrifice for me to be married. I am giving you this sacrifice. Have you thought like that? The devil, they can do ritual. They can sacrifice. They can give and give until they see you are down. I pray that let the blood of Jesus buy you what the enemy has taken from you in the name of Jesus. That is why Jesus was calling them. They are so evil and wicked. Look at that scripture. If you think Jesus did not cast, this is a curse. It's not good words. That's why we need to, 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 to fight the enemy. You cannot see evil people at your job. A lady was just texting me that a lady wants to make, make her to serve and, and lose a job just because of her color. You did not create yourself. This world, this country belongs to God. Canada belongs to God. America belongs to God. Even Africa belongs to God. If you are a white, you manage to be in Africa or another country where you are getting a job. You cannot be killed because you are white, you are color, or you are a, a black, you are in the middle of the white. You, they cannot kill you because you are of the color. So, th those are wicked. Those are wicked. You cannot let them to destroy you or to fire you from job because of racism. You can talk to that racism. You call them by name. You call them, they are so wicked and evil. You see what is going on. Child of God, you are not ignorant. You cannot be manipulated by the demons, by the evil people. Then you sit down. You continue praying with, with them with prayers, with prayers. Enough is enough. 
Let's look in the book of uh, Isaiah 32, 6. Isaiah 32, 6. <laughs> the Bible says, Isaiah 32, verse 6, the Bible says, For, for a fool speaks nonsense, and his heart includes toward wickedness, to practice ungodliness, and to speak error against the, uh, against the Lord, to keep angry person unsatisfied, and to withdraw drink from the thirst. Isaiah is calling them foolish. The foolish people speak nonsense. They speak evil. They speak careless. And his heart increases towards wickedness to practice ungodly and speak error against God. They curse even God. They don't mind God. They say there is no God. That's what they say. And they speak evil. And they keep angry people unsatisfied. And even they withdraw the drink from the thirst person. That is wicked. Somebody just want it. The person knows that you are a widow. Or you are a single mother. Or you are a widower. You can be just by yourself. And this person, very wicked, wants to fire you from job. As I'm a single mother, they, they, they fight you. They want to get you out of the job. So you can go and serve with your kids. That is wicked. You can't watch something like that. You can pray deadly prayer. Call me. I will stand with you and pray with you. If you are starting business. And you are, you are, you are having a job. And then you are, people are fighting you at, at the workplace. Call me. If you are operating in a business. And people are fighting you. Competing with you. They don't want you to operate in that place. Call me. I will stand with you. Those are wicked. Will Israel set the dead sentences against them? Call our number 647-608-5207. If you want to start a business or you want to start a ministry, if God has called you to any project you want to start, or if you are working and you are not doing well, call me, I will stand with you. Because I know we serve a living God. We have to put a stop to wicked people. They will learn a lesson so that they can repent and go and seek God. Jesus deal with these people very well. So you cannot sit down and watch the wicked taking away their job, taking away your money. You are broke because of the wicked. You are broke. You have no money because of witchcraft, because of evil. You are suffering because of evil. Maybe you don't have even a house. You are, you are almost, you are becoming homeless because of evil and wicked. Because of the works of, 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 of wickedness. We, we, we have to stand with the word of God and say a no to the, to the devil. We have been given power and authority over them. Some people they are on the bed, they are they are on, they can't even they can't even see they can't even sleep, they are in pain because of wicked. These are the wicked, so evil. They are they, 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 uh, 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 Isaiah called them foolish. They call a fool speaks nonsense because they don't know they speak just nonsense. And his heart is intrigued towards wickedness. This is nonsense. Don't sit down to cry. Just take a step of faith. Call me. I will stand with you in prayer. If you are looking at a partner, I am here to pray with you. I know that many, many, many people, they are suffering because of wicked people. How can you get a job? You are a single mother. And then you have not done anything wrong. That because of your cara, 
Now they are fighting you. Somebody has come in the camp and who does not like the other people. They want themselves. They only want their tribes. If you go to their places, it's only them, themselves. They don't need the other people. This country was not for them. They were not made for themselves. God has created us different cultures. So you can you cannot say that uh, that, that the company you are you 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 are you are, you are that that company belongs to your family only your family. No, that's not right. We have to stand and say democracy is is we have to do justice. We cannot watch the, the wicked people succeeding in our life and then we continue crying and suffer. We have to refuse. Let the, uh, I love the, the, the prayer of David. <laughs> Let's look at the David, what David was saying, Psalms 109. David says, no, 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 let these people peace, let them suffer. Let them another, let them remove their office and let another person take their, 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 their office. Let them be, uh, oh, Psalm, Psalm 69, he said, let their place be des desolate. Let animals come and live in, the, in their city. That's how David was praying. David was saying, let the angels of God chase them. Let them be taken to church and, and, and found guilty. That's how David was praying. Let's look at the book of uh, Psalms. Psalms 109. And you see the prayer of David. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. We thank God that God is able. I know somebody is going to pray very aggressive prayer. You are, if you need prayers, if you don't have prayers, ask me prayers, I will give them to you. I know that people are going to pray very aggressive prayers. Remember, aggression is what the, 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 the devil understands. The devil does not understand good prayers. You must be very aggressive. Yes. David says, Psalms 109, verse 6, said, Set the wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his days be few, and let another take the office. That is the wicked. David was praying such a prayer like that. Because they were fighting David, they were following David, they were following King David. David has to pray very aggressive prayers to, to put a stop to, to the enemies. The Bible says, look at this prayer. Very dangerous prayer that nobody can pray this prayer. He's, he prayed in verse 7, verse, verse 9. He said, let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Because this wicked, they must suffer. How can you fight somebody who is innocent? He has not done you anything, but because of the car, because you don't like them, you don't like the person, you just study hate the person from nowhere. That is wicked. Look at that. The Bible says, Verse 12, the Bible says, Let there be no none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any, any to favor his father's children. So the, 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 the David went as far as extending a, a prayer against his, the children of the wicked. That's why we need to pray very aggressive prayer. If in case you are a wicked, you can ask God to forgive you and do things good. Change your behaviors. Do things the right way. A wicked person cannot rule. A wicked person cannot do anything. When Saul became wicked, he killed himself. He, wa he was killed and his sons. So we pray that God would destroy every wicked, every works of the, the wicked, and, the, and, and, and every word of the wicked and, and, and ungodly people. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Every association against you, I command them to be scattered in the name of Jesus. Every evil association against you, I command them to be scattered in the name of Jesus. I am praying every evil association against you, I command them to be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God let all wicked spirit working against you fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Let all wicked spirit working against you fall by their own wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, this is the prayer that the devil wants to, wants to hear. You don't have to pray any good prayers. Let them be scattered. Let them be rendered powerless. Every wickedness that has been done against your life, stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. I pray every wickedness that has been done against you, against you and your children and your family, let them stumble and fall down in the name of Jesus. Any good thing, any good thing that the enemy has removed from you, any good thing, any job you are going to get, but the enemy has removed, has taken it to you from you. Anything that you, you are having, your business, and the enemy has taken your business, let them be scattered and the a powerless in the name of Jesus. Immediately, when they hear these prayers, when they hear the voice of my sound, let them re return everything they have taken from you in the mighty name of Jesus. They have robbed you. They have robbed your, your business. They have robbed your job. They have taken everything from you. Any good thing that the enemy has removed from your life, your home, your work, I command them to be restored immediately in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are at least losing their homes, I am praying that God will deliver you from the hands of the wicked. It is wicked that is holding your money. It is the wicked that is attacking the source of your income. So that you can lose your job, you can lose your, your home, you lose everything. The car repossess, so you, you remain without anything. The devil is a liar. This is the work of evil. I command every spirit of wickedness that has ever had anything to do with your life, right, now from, right from the womb, to gather together now and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command every... I command every spirit of wickedness, every spirit of wickedness has followed you right from the womb. Up to now, they are still following you. Let them be scattered. Let them be rendered powerless in the name of Jesus. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Any wicked person, any wicked personality, any evil person working with you at your workplace, giving you troubles, making you suffer, making you cry, you cannot eat, you, you don't feel like going back to work, let God remove them and let another one take their, their, their office in Jesus' name. Their days are few. You know the Bible says their days are few. They cannot sit in that office to, torturing you. Let God remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. You forces of wickedness that you have gathered now, I command you to receive judgment of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every forces, every evil forces of wickedness. Hallelujah. My God, I want to thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Some of you, your job is going to be restored. Tonight, you are going to restore, your job is going to be restored. You are not going to be fired. You are going to get a new job. Some, some of you have been looking for the jobs. You are going to get a job. Your financial breakthrough, God is going to bring you money. Because he's our father, he's, our, our, the, he's the owner of silver and gold. He is able to provide financial miracle. He can, he's able. What you, are going to, what you are going through, the Lord is going to meet your, your, prayer, your prayer request, your needs according to his riches and glory in Jesus' name. Every power assigned to program to prolong your problems, I command you to die. I kill you by the power that established heaven and earth in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus kill every power prolonging your problem. Let the, let the power of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus kill every power that is prolonging your problem. That is sickness, the sickness that is, has never been gone, it has stayed in your body for a long time. Let the blood of Jesus started killing that, that sickness. 
If there's that sickness died, it will not come back to you again in Jesus' name. I command you, evil chanters, evil witch, witchcraft. You are trying to spare on me. You are trying to, 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 to speak, to, to curse me. Hear the word of God. Any word you are using against me, I reverse it back to you. I reverse it. Let it go back. Let it go back in the, in the name of Jesus. You cannot curse me. The Bible is protecting me. The word of God is protecting me. Jesus is protecting me. I am protected by the power and the blood of Jesus. I am protected by Jesus himself. My angels are here with the sword. Therefore, I reverse every curse you are issuing against me. I stand against the word of the living God. And I am sending back to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I see. I feel it. You think I don't know? You will suffer. It is too bad. I am a woman of God. God has called me. You didn't call me. Therefore, leave me alone. Go and do your own stuff. Don't touch me. Every instrument of wickedness assigned against me, I command them to backfire. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray that God, every benefit of anybody, of somebody, that is being held. The benefits you are supposed to get. The enemy is holding them. Wicked people are holding them. Let them die. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, I want to thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God, I bless your name. Yes, Jesus, you are wonderful. God, I bless your name. God, I thank you. You are so good, my God. My God and my Father, I want to thank you, God. I want to... Bless your name and give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, any wicked thing, anyone that is being tortured by the wicked people, anyone that is being molested by the wicked people, Lord, I destroy them. I destroy the works of the enemy. I destroy every witchcraft working against you in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind them and I destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, I am asking you to take over. I am committing these people into your hand, God. I pray that God, let your word, that, 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 that says let be, and let it come and go to these people in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, your people need you. They need your word, God. They need your protection. They need you, Jesus. My Lord and my Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for them, God. I pray that God Almighty, what they have lost, let them, let them receive them back in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you, have, you are a new, you, you join this prayer today. And uh, you, are, you, are, you, 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 you have been crying, you needed to hear the word of God. God is saying that you, you stop crying, you have been crying in, 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 a lot. Your job is going to be stored. You are not going to lose your job. The job, many people, their jobs has been attacked. The enemy is attacking the sources of income, your income. Even your benefit is being held, uh, being held by powers of darkness. I am praying that God will release them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I want to bless your name. I give you all the glory, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, you know, I said before, you have good certificate. But your certificate has never found you a job. You are doing a wrong job. Bring your certificate. Call me and bring your certificate. I will pray. I will pray for you. I'm going to clean those certificates because some of them, they have been shit on it. They have been pee on it because that is the work of the enemy. I was praying for a woman and I saw with my eyes clearly they pull, they pull everything that this woman is doing. That's very wicked. I pray that anyone that their certificate or their works has been cheated by evil, let that person catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Those wicked and evil, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. I bleed the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I thank you. I give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. I have to stop here. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi saying bye-bye to you. Remember to go to our website, www.overcomersdh.com.
ministry.proxport.ca. I want you to go to our website and donate any amount to support our work because we have children we are supporting in Africa. Also, we need our office needs a computer and we need to have a better uh, laptop or iPad because we, we don't have the, the, iPad, the, the computer, the laptop. So if you can help us, we will appreciate. Thank you very much. God bless you. And uh, I know that you will call me for prayers. I am here to wait for your call. If you call me, you can call me. If tomorrow, yes, I'm here to wait for you. And, and I'm, I will minister to you one on one. Thank you very much. We also have a school. The school of uh, uh, deliverance and healing. If you want to become a deliverance minister, we started a school. The school is on starting this week. Next week, Monday, the school is starting. So if you have not registered, call me and, and go to our website. Look at the information. Call me and you can join next week if you need. If you don't need, still I can pray with you and minister to you one on one. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow, midnight, and we are going to bombard the enemy more and more. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you so much, and there's nothing I can do about it. Bye.